If you have a book on Amazon that you actually want to make sales, then you need to understand Amazon's categories. If you want your book to be more visible on Amazon with the potential of reaching bestseller status, then you need to make sure you put your book in the right categories for your audience so that it can rank in those categories. I know firsthand how challenging this can be because when I first published my book years ago, I had no blueprint. So I had to just put it up there and hope for the best. But there's a better option and today I'm gonna show you how you can choose the categories. But before I get started, I need you to go ahead and click that like button. I'll wait. <laughs> okay, so what are Amazon categories? Categories on Amazon are like the bookshelves in a library or a bookstore. Imagine if you were to go to Barnes & Noble bookstore and they had thousands of books, but none of the books were categorized. So you would have a hard time finding the book you were looking for if you ever found the book. Bookstores use genres to sort their books and Amazon uses categories. A lot of categories even matter. In addition to making it easier for your customers to find your specific type of book, categories put your books with similar types of books so that when your customers are searching, your book comes across their recommendation or searches. Picking the right category can also help you become a best-selling author if an Amazon bestseller is one of your goals. And if it is, click on this link to learn more. By appearing in different categories, your book can attract different audiences. And if your book ranks in the top 10 of any of Amazon's category listings, their algorithm is most likely gonna pick up your book. And of course, you know, more eyes on your book equals more potential sales. So during your title setup, you're able to choose two categories under your book's details section. These categories are based on the BISAC code, which stands for Book Industry Standards and Communications. This just helps Amazon understand what type of book it is and where to store it so that your customers can find it and buy it. Amazon uses the two categories you choose along with your keywords to push your book into Amazon categories. On Amazon's Browse Categories page, they break down the best methods for choosing your categories. And like I just mentioned, when you publish your book, you have the option to choose two categories, but you also have the option to choose eight more categories for a total of 10. I strongly advise against it because what I've seen is the more categories people choose, more of a risk for your account to possibly get flagged or suspended or terminated. If for any reason, Amazon does not agree with the chosen categories you pick. So in my opinion, less is better. Now, how do you decide which categories to choose for your books? I'm gonna show you two ways. The first way is to search for a book that's similar to yours. Look at their bestseller rank. Also look at the categories that are working for them. When you begin researching for book categories, you can start by going to the bestseller list and look at the first page results of your target category. The reason I suggest browsing the first page is because the first page is most likely what your customers are gonna be looking for. So it's important to identify the top selling books for each category and subcategory that you want to target. Next, go through each of the books and study their category strings. This is going to give you a list of subcategories so you can see exactly the string of categories their book is linked to. Take note of the categories listed and their target audience. Now, usually for this, I just write on a good old sheet of paper, um, but you can put it in your computer. You can save it how, whatever style is best for you. The second way to find categories is you can enter any keyword or phrase related to your book in the search box above and hit enter. For example, I have typed the word black boy coloring book into the KDP category browser and it's showing me the following books. From there, I can scroll to the bottom of the page to view the categories. When you click on the category, you'll see a string of subcategories. This is what you would use to locate the category in your back end. So for your homework, I want you to research your top three competitors and make a list of the categories and then choose the best categories that are most similar to your book. Now, if you're wanting to add more categories than the two categories that you can choose from your BISAC codes in your back end, then this is how you would do that. You would simply go to the contact us tab at the bottom of your page under your bookshelf and then you would click this top link so that you can send an email to KDP and update your categories. This is the format that you would use, and this is what it would look like once you send the email to them. As a bonus, if you've already published your book or you just simply want to know what categories your book may already be listed on currently, you can grab your book's ASIN number. Then you're going to visit bklnk.com, and you're going to plug it in to see what categories your book is currently listed in. This helps you so that you'll know if you need to change any categories or if you need to remove or delete any categories. 
This would be the list that you would use when you're researching your books or anyone else's books so you can send that information to Amazon to update your record. So before you publish, when you're going through the process, pick categories that are relevant to your book and pick the two best or most accurate categories that relate to your specific type of book. Having proper categories is not the only thing that sells a book, but it is important because the more ways your book can get exposure is the more potential sales that you'll have. If you want to know more ways to sell your books, click on this video. Until next time, bye-bye.